Hello friends, my name is Ali. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about converting a multi table XML into data frame. I am hosting this video for a YouTube user request. Let's get started. I have a folder. I'm using VS Code and we'll be using Python. Earlier I used uh, the note notebook. Let's get started. I'm just creating a new file. So let us call this as multi table. So first let us look at what the requirement is. I am cutting paste some HTML. So this is the requirement. We got a HTML file for simplicity. I put it in a just variable, but you can read this from a file or you can download from directly use request object to get this from a URL as well. So the task is here, multi table, this XML, this issue has got multiple tables, table A and table B. The idea is to extract just only one table at a time. And we, are, we don't want to pass these uh, property names or anything, just we will pass only the uh, node. Just we pass the node, that's all we need. So let's get started. So I'm going to do some imports. Uh, quick, I just paste it here. <coughs> here I am importing request objects. Uh, I even let that be there anyway. So then I'm importing pandas, then elementary. Uh, and I'm going to write a function is exactly similar to a function which I wrote in my previous video. Let me paste that code and we can walk through that. So this is that function. <coughs> if you see, compared with my previous videos, the only thing I added to this function is an additional parameter, parent. Okay. So then I put a if condition. Earlier I was iterating, everything was like this. I added only these two. I added one parameter and I check the child tag is the parent. Parent means that is the one being passed into the function. So then rest of the code is exactly same. And now let us look at the magic, how simple it is to call this uh, So here, here I am calling the function XML to DF, just we wrote above, with the node. The node of my interest is this one, and it prints the table. Let's let's run and see. See, we got 
the table so now let's copy the full code so that So in this case, I call both. So I'm creating two data frame, table A and table B. So let me rename this as maybe for simplicity or that it doesn't matter. So if I run this code, probably. So in this case, I'm printing the tables and also I am writing to a CSV file. Let us see if we can run from here. Run task. Okay, let us do the debug here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It has created two CSVs. Let's look at this one. Let's go to the explorer. Yeah. This is table A and table B. And <coughs> you can eliminate the index column as you wish. You can configure one of this uh, property and node as the index. Hope that you can do easily so this is the full code hope you enjoy this simple script and do subscribe to me i will include the full source code in the description so that you can cut and paste. Thanks for contacting the YouTube subscriber. Hope this helps. Bye.